my channel guys. Today I'm going to be doing a video which I've never done before. I've never even done a video kind of like this before. I guess it's kind of like a haul, but it's going to be like running through my current um, most flattering autumn outfits. Most of this stuff has been bought recently because I'm a shopaholic and I do buy clothes all the time. So most of the stuff you can get your hands on like it's been bought recently and if it hasn't been bought recently they're basically our dead lookalikes in the shops at the moment so don't worry about that everything is kind of accessible but just to say none of this is sponsored none of this is kind of promotion or anything like that um, I'm just very passionate about clothing and sometimes I can sound like a walking talking advert when I'm really passionate about stuff but genuinely felt the need to say before this video none of this is sponsored I might just sound like a walking advert because I'm very passionate about clothes. Okay, so the first outfit we're gonna be looking at is a kind of skirt and tights, which I love in autumn and winter. Skirt and tights is like one of my favorite looks, whether it be black tights or like woolly gray tights, so cute. First outfit we've got is the skirt, which is just a plain denim skirt. The one I'm wearing in the video is this one right here. It's from Pull and Bear. Again, these skirts are absolutely everywhere at the moment. Just denim, cute little skirts. Um, I got a size medium in Pull and Bear. Um, and what I tend to do with this is because I have larger legs and bum, I tend to size up in the skirts and then get a skirt that has a belt hole and I pull the belt really tight. So then it gives me a little bit more flexibility on the kind of leg slash bum area because if a denim skirt is too tight around those areas, mm, you know what I'm saying? Isn't that good? With a pair of like sheer black tights and a cute kind of plain tucked in top. Now the top that I'm wearing in the video is from Brandy and Melville. That is online. I know a lot of you um, when I talk about Brandy and Melville don't know what it is. Look up the shop. It is so freaking cute. Um, it is one size fits all which is one of the only problems with the shop. But as you can see things don't come like teeny tiny always. So you do just kind of have to think about what you think would fit you. Um, it has like a little bee on, which I had to get because busy bee. Okay, so the shoes for my first outfit are a cute little pair of like maroony leather daps from Marks and Spencers. Do not judge me, Marks and Spencers has some good steals, guys. So, you know, we gotta go quality for the shoes. They've got quite a nice autumny color slash feel to them. In the first shots, I've worn this gorgeous scarf from H&M, which was 12 99 I believe. And I've had scarves like this Last winter I had a scarf like this that was super itchy around my neck and because of my eczema, like you can already see I'm flaring up a bit from wearing a scarf. Um, because of my eczema, I do struggle to find things that are soft on my skin. This was gorgeously soft and with a denim skirt and especially like a high-waisted denim skirt, I do feel like a shorter jacket works best. That's just my personal opinion. One of my favorite short jackets is of course my suede jacket from Primark. Absolutely love it. It's been one of my the best things this kind of like autumn season. I've worn it so much and I just love it so much. It feels so soft and it's really comfy to wear and I just absolutely love it. If I'm wearing a short jacket, I do tend to wear a snood or shorter like wrapper scarf around rather than wearing it long just because I feel like a long kind of scarf covers and ends up covering the jacket and taking away from the jacket. So I did pick a snood for my outfit with the jacket on, which is from Primark, which I love because I love chunky knit like this on the outside, but again, that would not suit my skin. No, no, no. So the inside is like really soft and lovely and fluffy. So you wear the inside so it touches your skin and you wear the outside to look cool. So for my second outfit, it's kind of like a very on the skirt and tights look. I've got a little pair, pair. <laughs> I've got a little pair of black boots on my feet instead of daps. Um, I absolutely love the little booties look with tights, but with denim, black, and then boots on the bottom, it's quite difficult to colour match. You have to have kind of a colour a similar kind of colour looking boots on the bottom, or it made me look really stubby because I tried on this really cute pair of like brown kind of autumny boots that I had. And it was like denim, brown, a little bit of black in the middle where the tights are. And I just looked really like stubby and short. So I feel like the black boots and the black tights elongates your legs a lot and makes you look like kind of really tall and slim. So I quite liked that look with the little pair of like booties on the bottom. I also jazzed it up and added a bit of colour. It's kind of like a mustardy yellow, really lovely autumn colour. And this was from Forever 21 and I got it in a medium. It's like a curved hem little top and I just tucked it in again because 
Um, with a denim skirt, I just feel like tucking tops in, ruffling them out a bit, um, is is kind of one of my favourite looks to wear with the denim skirt. And then with the jacket for this outfit, it's also again a short jacket. Um, one of my favourite jackets I own, and it's got a gorgeously soft sort of fur around the neckline. I absolutely love this coat. I think it's such a like smart but not kind of overwhelmingly like big or statement coat. It's kind of like reserved but also really smart with like the fur around the collar. I just think it suits the kind of denim skirt tights and boots outfit really well. It adds a little bit of chicness. And then of course we have another snood. Um, this one is from Mark Suspenses. Again guys, don't knock it. This is like such a lovely comfy snood and I love the colour. Um, I kept the colours quite neutral for the rest of the outfit just because the top was such a kind of funky colour. You don't want to be mixing, you know, too many colours together. You just want to keep it bright and funky with the top and then kind of neutral around the rest of the outfit. Okay, so the next outfit we have is a skinny jean and baggy jumper look. Now, I've been wearing this outfit a lot recently because it's gotten to that time where it's like not absolutely freezing, so like you don't absolutely need to take a coat with you. You kind of just need a baggy jumper and a scarf and a pair of jeans, you know what I'm saying? So I've been wearing this outfit a lot. Just a pair of skinny jeans. Now, I have chosen my favorite Jamie jeans for the shots, which are from Topshop. Now, the only jeans I pretty much wear are from Topshop, Jamie or Johnny jeans, and then I did find that pair from Primark the other day, which was like an amazing find. But apart from that, I do pretty much only wear Topshop jeans just because they fit my, my lower body and my waist kind of, well, they fit and most jeans don't fit me. For the jumper, I have my absolute fave, new chenille. I feel like that's how you say the material. Chenille, Chanel, Chanel, Chanel. I have no idea. Um, my jumper from Primark, which I absolutely love. I did show this in my recent Primark haul video. It's just like a velvety, navy, gorgeous jumper, and um, I love the neckline. A lot of the Chanel jumpers, Chanel <laughs> jumpers at the moment, have quite a thick, sticky outy neckline well this was kind of one jumper that was like on its own in the corner and it had a normal kind of jumpery neckline so i absolutely loved it love at first sight with this jumper i really wanted to go for that kind of oversized baggy look that you can almost tuck in slightly to jeans and still kind of wear as an oversized jumper i went for a size extra large i believe and um, there was pretty much only large and extra large left but it was the style of, with the, that jumper that I was going for. Got the rolled up sleeves, baggy oversized look. So these jumpers, and then they just end up being super comfy outfits and also just look really good, especially in autumn. With a kind of oversized baggy jumper look, again, I do prefer to wear a snood just because I don't want to take away from the baggy jumper. Like the baggy jumper is a big part of the outfit. And if you've got like a chunky scarf that's like running all the way down it, it can end up looking a little bit chunky. So just to keep your neck warm and to kind of add a little bit of color to that outfit, I chose another one of my snoods. How many freaking snoods do I own? Wow. I love snoods so much because they're so soft on my neck. But this snood is from Primark. It's kind of like a baby pinky purpley gray color. Who knows? And um, yeah, I love it so much. It's super, super soft and it kind of just adds a little bit of color without taking away from the rest of the outfit too much. And the boots I'm wearing, guys, are also from M&S. Guys, I feel like I'm an M&S rep right now. I have so much stuff from there. I do tend to get shoes and stuff from um, places like Marks and Spencers just because the quality is there and they do last quite a long time. I've had these boots for quite a long time now, but I feel like they're still in m and I feel like I saw them in there the other day, but again, loads of shops are selling boots like this at the moment, um, and these are just the ones that I chose to wear with the outfit. My next outfit is like a nice pair of black leggings with some black boots. This, I feel, really elongates your legs. Like, jeans and boots is good, but leggings and boots, the leggings are so thin and like discreet, they like blend into one and make you look like you've got one long leg, which I just don't really have. For this outfit, I've gone for some cropped, um, kind of autumn-y coloured jumpers. I absolutely love these jumpers. They're still kind of new. I still haven't even taken that label off that one. 
So yeah, they're new little autumn jumpers. They're from Forever 21 and I think they were £13 each. I got like a plum slash, it's just plum. And I don't even know what colour this is. It's like, they're just autumn, you know, they're autumn colours. This outfit would also work with almost just like a jumper like this or a slightly baggier jumper. I freaking love the look of oversized denim jackets at the moment. That denim jacket is also from Forever 21 and I have spoken about this in loads of my vlogs recently because I do love that denim jacket and I've been wearing it like every day. So I cannot rave about anything more than an oversized denim jacket for autumn with some cute autumn coloured jumpers underneath um, and then high waisted leggings, a little pair of booties and you're away. The boots, the black boots I've just bought, um, which I do love. I cannot remember the name of the shop. I'll try and find the link if they do it online and put it in the description if I can find it because they are really nice and really comfy because I tried some on in H&M um, that looked exactly the same and I tried to walk in them and I was like, mm, mm, I might try and go to like a proper shoe shop and see if they're easier to walk in. 100% easier to walk in, so much comfier, so much nicer, so it's definitely worth, and also cheaper from the shoe shop. What has happened to my hair? So the next outfit, we still have the leggings on, but we have changed the shoe up to a Timberland. Love my Timberlands. My Timberlands are like a year and a half old now. They are great autumn slash wintry shoes. I absolutely love them. Just nothing wrong to say about Timberlands. Um, I think the colour, the style, the everything just suits autumn and winter so well. Especially autumn because they're like that nice like mustardy colour, you know what I'm saying? This is the top that I chose. It was from Topshop and to be honest, I absolutely love this top. I did not think I'd love this top as much as I do. because I got it in a UK size 6 and the frills on the sleeves and at the bottom are so cute and it's just way more flattering than I thought it was. So I wore that with a little pair of leggings and then I feel like puffer jackets are so in right now. So of course I went out and I had to get the puffiest puffer jacket in the world. I fell in love with this mustard puffer jacket from Top Top Shop? From Urban Outfitters. I'm just so freaking in love right now. It is so puffery. It's just like a massive puffery duvet. I love it. Yeah, the outfit look I was kind of going for was like chunky on the bottom, chunky on the top, kind of like sleek leggings and a top in between. Again, the boots and coats kind of can go with a lot of different outfits. That was just kind of like my fave. So for the last outfit of the video, we've stuck with the kind of leggings look with the boots um, on the bottom to go for like a tall, sleek look on the bottom with a more kind of vintagey, cool look on the top. The hoodie and denim jacket look is very hot right now. I was really feeling it with my new YAE hoodie. Guys, nothing else would have done the job as well as my YAE hoodie. Um, if you don't know what YAE is, it is my own clothing brand. It stands for You Are Enough and it's kind of like a empowermenty self-love brand. Um, well, the, the kind of name and meaning behind the brand is meant to be like that. And then the clothes are just cool. This is one of the pieces that is releasing on Monday the 16th. Is that next Monday? Is it like a few days? Yeah, I think so. Just to give you some sneak peeks, we have this is one of the designs. I absolutely obsessed with this colour and it's got rolled sleeves and it also comes in a cropped version too and I absolutely love. And then we also have the kind of slim full length um, y -E -Y -E -Y -E, which is gorgeous and it, it looks quite see through -y, but it's actually really not um, and it's quite just like a nice charcoal -y black colour so I absolutely love this one oh we also have a, a very limited edition special edition top coming which has not come yet I cannot wait to receive the first one but let me just say one thing it's gonna be popping that's all I can say Oh, that concludes my autumn most flattering outfits haul thing. I hope you guys did. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was a kind of nice change and it was something a little bit different on the channel. Comment below. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and just let me know whether this is something that you'd be more interested in. Me doing kind of like almost like lookbooks slash outfits put together and just talking through the outfits and kind of where I got the stuff from and why I put them together and things like that because I do shop a lot and so my outfits are often like kind of not new but the stuff is often accessible 
in the time when I'm wearing them. Does that make any sense? Probably not. I will see you in the next video. I think we have a... Actually, I have no idea what's coming next, so... Life is like a box of chocolates, you know what I'm saying? You just don't know what's coming next on this channel. Um, I'm hoping to do a kind of mixture of just vlogs and fashion-y haul stuff. As always, in the near future. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And I love you, as always, my angels. Goodbye. Mwah. Have